Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For the ones who don't know me, I'm Zahra Mursadegi, an 18-year-old student. Currently, I'm learning eight different languages and in this video, I will tell you why you cannot learn a language in the environment. Some factors which can make a certain environment different and better for you to learn a language in. So that environment needs to be a native environment, right? So an environment where people there can speak in your target language or their native language is your target language, okay? So you found this place, right? So the second factor is that, okay, now in that place that people can speak in that language, you gotta find people and make friends with those people. This is not enough to just live in a country where people speak in that language and okay, you just talk five minutes a day to the ID or like the taxi driver or a random person in the street. This is not enough. So you must communicate with people. Oh, how am I supposed to communicate with people in the native environment? This is so hard for me. You move to a new country, of course, it's so hard for you to find friends, but trust me, people love, love, and love to see foreigners speaking in their native language. So never and never be scared of getting judged because natives don't judge you. Natives never judge you because they know how much hard you're trying and how much hard you're working to learn their native language. A lot of foreign friends of mine who live in China, they don't even have one single Chinese friend. So what is the difference between you and someone who lives back in her country? What makes it different is that when you live in a certain country where people are speaking that language, you must be friends with them not only friends you should be close friends to them hang out with them every day ask them help and these things so this is a very important factor another factor that i want to mention is that when i first i i have moved to two different countries where i was learning their languages basically turkey and china when I moved to Turkey, my Turkish level was not really good. It was probably A1 or A2. But when I moved to China, my Chinese level was actually B2. So do you see the difference? Improving your target language in the environment as someone who is probably beginner in a certain language is not really the best choice because as I told you guys, the most important thing for you as a person who lives abroad is the communication that you need to make. There is the friends, the community. Okay, so if your language level is not good, so how are you supposed to find friends? How are you supposed to find close friends and hang out with every day. So I know it's uh, pretty hard to communicate and make friends or even live in your target language country when you're a beginner. So my recommendation for you is that if you have to have a good base on that language, let's say B2 or B1, yes. Uh, and that's when you will actually enter the community, a big world and the big native speakers community so this is the mistake that many of my foreign friends uh, did here and i'm happy that i could actually help them because living abroad is amazing like it's amazing to have foreign friends to speak english with or any language that you want but you should consider the main thing okay i am i came to china for this language why would i spend my time speaking a language that I don't even need to improve or do anything like that. So please, please consider this. Another factor that I wanted to tell you guys is that if you want to move to a country to improve your language, I really, really recommend you guys to take part in the language courses of that country. Let's say in some programs, one year language program, six months of program, a semester of language program, because when you just go to a country with a tourist visa, let's say, and you want to improve your language for six months, it's, let's say it's a little bit hard for you to actually improve it because the way is probably going to be a way more challenging for you than just taking part in classes, having native teachers, having motivated uh, classmates who want to learn your target language as well. So I really recommend you guys to take part in language courses 
in the country that you go to. And the final point that I wanted to say is actually related to the first point that I said, finding friends. Finding friends is the biggest key, the most important thing, okay? So no matter where you're living, okay? Pro you probably live in your country or a country where people don't speak in your target language, okay? You should find friends no matter from where, social media, whatever you, can think of there are a lot of communities where you can even find in your own country that uh, there are a lot of people who can speak in your target language or if you're living in the school's campus go go and try to find friends there is always a wall between the foreign students and the chinese students especially in my university so it's so hard for them to, to communicate because they don't have the uh, same classes, they don't have the same activities, the same events, everything is separated and this is uh, so bad and that makes people only want to hang out with people who don't speak their target language or who don't want to speak in their target language with them. So this is a way that I used in China in my campus to find friends. I have joined many clubs, many clubs with Chinese students, many uh, body programs, uh, foreign and Chinese students programs. I took part to whatever events I could think of. At the beginning of the university, uh, actually, this is so funny, okay? I used to go to the street, yes, in the street of my university. and. I, I, I was seeing like a very nice girl and I was like, oh, how, how could I go to this building? And after that, we could like make friends and talk a little bit more. And because Chinese people are just so sweet, so she could just give me her WeChat and we could communicate and be best friends. Or many other things like that. Do not be shy to start the conversation first. Please, this is actually the only reason why I could find a lot of Chinese people here at a very short time. I, I was never scared of people judging my Chinese level. I was never scared to get rejected by Chinese people. I didn't care. I just wanted to make friends. Like, who knows? Probably the person who you see in the hallway is going to be your best friend tomorrow. And if you don't start the conversation, you can never know that. The, today's video's topic is you cannot learn a language in the environment. And yes, if you do not do these things, you won't learn a language in the environment. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it if you guys support my video. I'm gonna be way, 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 way more active on YouTube. Um, just putting this challenge for myself to post every day for the next few days, probably after that, probably I'm not gonna continue, I don't know. But for now, because I'm so much more free than before, I'm just trying to post every day. So you guys, please support me, tell me on the comment section so that I make more videos soon. Thank you guys and bye.